If there is anything people know about Isaac Newton, it is the apple story. But history tends to exaggerate stories. The apple never actually fell on him. It just hung alongside a daytime moon, and it inspired Newton. Maybe the force that keeps the moon in its place is the same one that makes apples fall from trees. When Nicholas Copernicus said that the Earth rotated on its axis and around the sun in a circle, he revolutionized science, but left unanswered questions. Why, then, did things fall straight to the ground? And why didn't we fly off into space? Sixty years later, astronomer Johannes Kepler asked yet another question. He had meticulously measured planets' orbits, and there was no doubt. They weren't circles, but ellipses. But why? All of this was just what he saw in the sky. There wasn't any math to explain it. Newton had forgotten about the apple and the moon while he was busy inventing calculus and theorizing about the nature of light. He even gained a rival, Robert Hooke, an already prominent physicist who disagreed with him. Some years later, for reasons still unclear, he locked himself up in his study and set off to solve the mystery of elliptical orbits of planets and satellites. He had some ideas, but he was stuck. His math didn't add up. It was, against all odds, his rival Hook who suggested a small change in one of his formulas. This drove him to work non-stop until he came up with what he needed. A set of laws that could be used to describe how objects moved. Were they planets, comets, projectiles, or a falling apple? Combining these laws, the mystery was solved. The moon wanted to travel on a straight path, and the Earth's gravity pulled it closer, making it go faster and thus straighter, and so on. Newton had been right all along. He wrote all this in a book known as the Principia. Hooke was briefly acknowledged in it, but he felt that Newton had stolen his idea, and he was so furious, he decided not to retire as president of the Royal Society, because Newton was next in line. They continued fighting until Hooke's death. By then, science was forever changed. Newton had been the first person to use math to explain nature.